Joining us now in studio is California's new school superintendent, Tony Thurman. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Okay, boy, you were just sworn in. I mean, you are what, like eight days on the job? Yeah, something less like than that. two weeks, but get right to it, right? Boy. We've got big issues, and we're going to do our best to help our kids in the state. Yeah, all right, let's talk about the big issue, starting with Los Angeles. I know you were booked on the show yesterday, but you were actually in LA yesterday. Yes. Um, you know, where do things stand? Because the numbers, they are just astronomical. I mean, 300,000 educators, uh, a cost on both sides of 69 million. Million dollars. Yeah, these are tough times, and, and and I give a lot of credit to the teachers. They've been out in the rain. They, you know, they've got students with them. They're making their voices heard for better working conditions, but things that are better for kids, like smaller class sizes. And uh, for a while, things were at impasse, but I'm proud to report that today the teachers union and the administration are back together at the table and I'm hopeful that we can find a, a quick resolution uh, to this strike. Yeah all right and uh, taking a look at the Bay Area earlier we saw some video of a parking lot that has some pretty big plans. Um, you know the high cost of living of course is forcing a lot of these teachers to move out of the area so if we could take a look at some video from ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez earlier this week uh, she did a story about the old Francis Scott Key annex. This is in the Sunset District of San Francisco, as you can tell from Sky 7 and Drone View 7 here, uh, that by 2022, uh, this will be the first housing development exclusively for teachers. And I know, Tony, you had mentioned that this is something that's been on your radar for many years now. Oh uh, Yeah, for the last few years, I've been working on a proposal to create uh, teacher housing support for districts throughout the state. Most districts cannot afford to build housing. Um, they have surplus property, but they need support to build housing that one teacher can live in and when that teacher moves on, another teacher moves in. And so uh, given the massive teacher shortage that we're seeing in the state and this country and the high cost of living in the Bay Area, I think it's a great uh, option to help us offset our teacher shortages. Okay, and as we take a look more at this video, I mean, this is going to be a massive complex. Uh, studio rates really below market level, about $800 or so a month, although 2022 is still a ways away. I mean, what is your message then to these teachers who find themselves having to move out of the Bay Area? You know, we have to do something about teacher compensation. Many of our teachers uh, in the Bay Area are among the lowest paid in the state and in the nation. And so we've got to start there. And in the meantime, uh, programs like teacher housing uh, are helpful. Uh, the governor's uh, recently proposed budget gives more money to school districts to address the rising cost of education, to address pension. So there are some opportunities to try and increase uh, teacher compensation. Um, but if we don't you know, deal with these conditions, we won't be able to close the achievement gap and make sure our kids are being prepared for the jobs of the future. And so we've got some work to do, uh, but I'm optimistic that we can get some short-term wins and then some long-term gains as well. Yeah, and we do want to take a look at the overall picture of the country because, yes. I mean, obviously, teacher strikes yes. are nothing new. Right. We've seen them in, in other states like Arizona, uh, and along with North Carolina and West Virginia. I mean, is this an epidemic? Tell us where California's teachers are going. As you point out, this is a trend. What's happening in L.A. and likely to happen in Oakland has happened throughout the nation. Uh, teachers are using the strike as a way of making their voices heard. And, and, and we, I, you know, I know a lot of teachers, they don't want to be anywhere but in their classrooms. The fact that they're out in the rain striking, the fact that they're, you know, basically not going to get paid for the time that they're on strike is a way of uh, us seeing how urgent the situation really is. Mm -hmm. uh, California ranks somewhere uh, close to 45th in the nation in per pupil spending. In order for us to take our rightful place is number one, we have to come up with new permanent revenue sources uh, for improving education. There are a number of sources proposed in the legislature this year, and we'd like to see where this goes so that we can change this trend of losing teachers, provide some teacher scholarships for people who want to become educators, and then provide world-class training to our teachers uh, so they can support all of the students in our state. Boy, uh, sounds like a bright future ahead. Lots of work, of course, to be done, and I know you're only a few days in on the job. We'll look forward to uh, seeing how you plan to make the Bay Area a better place to live. Thanks for sharing, and we look forward to doing the work and letting you know how it's going.